Good evening and thank you for joining us. More than a year after he was suspended, a workplace harassment investigation against, for, against Deputy Police Chief Ryan Hughes has concluded. It's now up to the Thunder Bay Police Services Board, which met this morning to determine Hughes' future with the force. Vasilios Bellos reports. Thunder Bay's Deputy Police Chief Ryan Hughes has been suspended since January of last year, with the service yet to provide details of the allegations. Since then, an external investigation has been conducted, with the findings not yet released to the public. It now falls on the Thunder Bay Police Services Board to determine next steps for Hughes. That means our board is, is considering the reports and making a decision as to how to respond to the findings and with respect to the deputy uh, uh, himself and his, uh, and, his, sorry, and his suspension. Hannum was unable to provide any timelines on a decision. Also during this police board meeting, the two newest members were sworn in, city appointee Denise Baxter and provincially appointed Karen Machado. Got four very good people and I'm very pleased about that. Board Administrator Malcolm Mercer, whose term is set to wrap up at the end of March, says he has faith in those currently around the table. Despite this, he says there's a number of factors to consider when deciding whether his term will be extended again. The board has been a four-person board out of five for its very first meeting, uh, and uh, uh, it will, I think, uh, take both training and experience for the board to be fully uh, functional. It becomes a question of judgment at what point to... Uh, uh, I should cease to be the sole voting member and things should change. Public consultation results were also released during the meeting regarding the use of brief cam by police, a video analytics and AI technology software. Director of Technology Chris Adams says the feedback was primarily positive, though invasion of privacy was a concern. Well, we've taken the very clear position that facial recognition right now is off the table. We're not interested in using it. We want to use it just as object recognition and a way of sorting all of that vast amount of video evidence that uh, the service is faced with. While the public consultation survey is completed regarding the AI technology, the pilot project continues. Next steps include a board governance policy, proper training for those authorized to use the software, and consultation with the Crown Attorney. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.